bloodiest day of the war. Nearly 25,000 killed, wounded, or missing at Antietam Creek, and more than half of them ours. I wouldn't have thought it possible, Mr. President. That we could slaughter each other on such a scale? Dear God. The poor families of the dead. McClellan calls it a masterpiece. At least Lee has pulled out and is retreating back to Virginia. I promised myself that as soon as we drove them out of Maryland, I'd call it a victory and issue the proclamation. To free the slaves in the South. It's always been the right thing to do. That on the first day of January, in the year of our Lord, 1863, all persons held as slaves within any state or designated part of a state, the people whereof shall then be in rebellion against the United States, shall be then thenceforward and forever free. And the executive government of the United States, including the military and naval authorities thereof, will recognize and maintain the freedom of such persons. And I hereby enjoin upon the people so declared to be free to abstain from all violence unless in necessary self-defense. And I recommend to them that in all cases when allowed, they labor faithfully for reasonable wages. And upon this act, sincerely believe to be an act of justice warranted by the Constitution upon military necessity I invoke the considered judgment of mankind and the gracious favor of Almighty God. <laughs>